it's hard to it's hard to know where to start and, and, and actually tell all the story about Invisible, but um, you know, this is a song that I've held on to for a couple of years now. I wrote it just after actually the the last record was released, um, right when I started like really wanting to write a new record, right about six months after playing a record, you sort of want new material all of a sudden, right? This is um, yeah, this is personal um, because I was <laughs> I was a music geek, right? In school, I was just a total nerd. I still am, and uh, I've I've learned I've learned to say that and be proud of it, so that people know that that is not a bad thing. For a long time, I felt like that was a, a horrible thing. It left me with this uh, this loneliness. It was this sort of circular thing where um, music would leave me, uh, you know, kind of <clears throat> to myself, like making my music, doing my thing, and then that would sort of leave me out of a lot of things which led me back to music to express how I was feeling and it was this constant circle and um, obviously I'm here and it's t <laughs> it's turned out to be the, the, the biggest blessing. I was lucky though. I had parents who supported me every every minute, every word that I wrote, every melody that I came up with and everything that I wanted to do musically they were all, they were like you should follow your dreams right and and I had friends around me, I had musicians around me but I, you know I know a lot of people don't have that part of the story um, they have something they're passionate about, or whatever it is that makes you feel that lonely invisibility, right? Yeah, I, I definitely had those moments where it was, uh, you know, the, the depressing sort of like, you know, for lack of a better term, sort of cry yourself to sleep moments. And, but I don't even like to say that because I know that what I went through is just, just minute. It just pales in comparison to what I know a lot of other people go through. If I could say anything to them, um, I mean, quite frankly, it's all in the song. It's like, you know, this you you, you know th this feeling of invisible. Um, you know, you're not alone, and you know, there's so much more to life than what you're feeling now. To me, is one of the most important lines in this song because this song is all about the perspective and how hard it is to have a perspective when you don't have anything to look at but everything around you, and you can't see your future. You know, um, but if I could say one thing, I'd say, you know. There's so much more to this story, and whatever you do, don't change, stay you, know that you are awesome just the way you are, and, uh, and know that that's what's gonna make you the best person, the best version of you you've ever been. After writing this song, um, it is so personal that there is that fear that you sort of, it's really personal, I don't know if anybody else is gonna really relate to it, or you know, maybe back away from it, because it's so, like, you know, for lack of better terms, um, serious, right? Um, and much to my surprise, the few people that I've played it for before now, really, um, have shared with me their stories, and they all somehow relate to the song. And it's become more and more meaningful to me as someone who, you know, again, I wrote it because I was that music geek in school who just never fit in, and realized that, hey, there's nothing wrong with that, because that has driven me to, 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 to fall more deeply in love with this, this, this music that I make, and, and to, uh, you know, all those things, right? It's become really important to me that somebody hears this song and somebody sort of, I don't know, that this means something to someone other than just the three of us that wrote it.